Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I am so, so, so excited to be sharing with you an update on my upcoming skincare brand launch. I know so many of you guys have been asking for um, an update because it's been a few months since I filmed one. For those of you that haven't been around the channel for that long, you know, welcome. But also, just to fill you in on the backstory, about a year ago, I took the plunge and decided to self-fund fulfilling my own like life's ambition, which was to create and design my own range of skincare products. Um, I kind of, maybe I had a few, expectations back then which haven't always come into fruition. There are lots of pitfalls and lots of things that I want to discuss in this video but I'm going to break it down into two halves. First off we're going to talk about the products themselves, the launch, the pricing and the products, how all this is kind of going to fit together. We're then going to move into the second half of the video to talk about a little bit more detail about the process of coming up with these products and how it kind of works. So if you're interested in one more than the other you can click on those timestamps below, be my guest and skip to the bit that you're most interested in but let's cut the waffle and let's talk all things mad about skin. In a previous video, which I'll actually leave a link to up there if you want to check it out, I shared with you guys um, the packaging options that we were going for, the design, the look, the branding, and all of that side of things. But I couldn't really give too much details on the products themselves because they were still being formulated. Throughout this process, I've had to temper my expectations a little bit. I wanted to launch with a full range of skincare products. But I think, do you know what, if Rihanna couldn't do it with Fenty, how the heck am I going to be able to deliver that? And this is kind of what I had to moderate my expectations with. I wanted to be able to create, you know, something for each step of the skincare routine, but this is going to have to be an ongoing and evolving process. And so we're actually going to be launching with three key products, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous cleanser, which I'm so, so, so on board with and absolutely loving. We've got a moisturizer and in between we've got a really exciting serum that I want to share with you. Um, I'm all about consumer choice. So I'm going to talk through as we go through each of the choices that you'll have with each product because it's not just an off-the-shelf product you will be able to customize it a little bit to what you actually want to achieve from your products so the plan is to launch on the 1st of August now that has slipped ever ever so slightly from when I first envisaged it but the reason for pushing it back slightly is to make sure that we are able to launch in as many places as possible on day one you guys have been so so kind of supporting me from all four corners of the globe and so I really wanted to repay that be making it as accessible as possible in as many territories up from. So to be able to do that and work with a lot of the rules and regulations around it, we just need that little bit extra time. So that's a hot date for your diary at the 1st of August. But I will give a full update in the coming months on the territories where it will be able to launch and I want it to be as widespread as possible. In terms of the price point, which a lot of you guys have been asking me for, in terms of the price point, well there's two factors here. The cost of the products themselves, which I was determined to make as affordable as possible. Skincare isn't a luxury. I don't really buy into luxury skincare in my day-to-day -day life. So how hypocritical Critical would it have been for me to like launch something that's like $60 price tag, bougie, you know, bougie out there, luxury boutique? No, I'm not about that. So I wanted it to be as affordable as possible. And I'll talk about the individual pricing as we go along. These are ballpark figures because things do get changed ever so slightly. But the second part of that is obviously the shipping. How many times have you gone online, you found a product you want, you're like, oh my God, gotta have it, put it in your basket, really affordable, love the idea, you get to shipping and it's like twice the cost to ship it as it is to buy the product. No. Often, you know, there are shipping challenges, so don't get me wrong, it does cost more to ship to certain countries than others, but some of these companies I see stinging the consumer on the shipping. That ain't, that ain't kosher. That's not legit. We don't do that. So actually what I want um, to be able to do is to have a flat rate for international shipping. That will mean that there will be a few places might cost a little bit more than usual, but the majority will be less than usual. That just makes that flat rate so easy to understand and you kind of know what you're getting up from. Face Theory, which is a firm, firm favourite brand of mine that I did a recent review on. I'll leave a link to that up there. Actually have the same philosophy of that flat rate for international shipping. It makes it super accessible, easy to understand and you know what you're getting up front and I really love that. It's going to be in the ballpark of around the $6 um, shipping point, which I think compared to other brands on the market is really affordable and is totally, totally doable. I don't think you should be making a profit off your shipping. It should literally be the cost to ship the product to someone. And that's kind of the ethos that we're coming at this from. So let's jump in and let's talk products. Now, now, if you go back to my original video I linked earlier, we talked about a lot of products. They're all still in the pipeline, but to be able to launch in as many places as possible within the timeframes that we're given, so not delay it by another two years, um, we thought we'd hone down on four key products, which will still build in an element of customer choice, and I'll come on to that soon. So all of these came in big, you know, for me to test out in big, like, medically looking containers with all of, you know, the labeling and everything. I was told by um, the formulating lab, do not show the labels. Do not get lots of things going on around trademarks and things. So 
we're not doing that, but I have decanted it so I can show you. So don't judge the packaging that these come in because let's be honest, I like utilitarian. I like everything streamlined, but they, this, this, this ain't it. This packaging ain't it. So this is the cleanser that we're um, going to be launching with. This is a super hydrating, jelly textured cleanser. I have fallen really hard for jelly style cleansers um, at the moment because I do think they give an element of luxury without actually costing any more. All the products mentioned today are hyaluronic acid free, which is going to be a dream to anyone that's looking to cut back on the hyaluronic acid. They're also going to be free from niacinamide. Not because I think niacinamide's bad, but I think we overdo it. And this isn't designed to be a one size fits all skincare routine. I want people to incorporate their favorite brands and other products in and amongst these. I don't want to be one of these people that says you can only buy from this brand if you want dream skin. A load of old rot. Combine your favorites with this, most of which will contain niacinamide, which is why I've stripped both of those ingredients out. So here we have a jelly cleanser. It's bouncy, it feels luxury, but it's super, super affordable. This is gonna come in here in the UK at around the nine pounds price tag for a reasonable sized bottle. Don't worry, you're not getting this little amount. Um, over in the States that are corresponding, the uh, corresponding dollars, go into the old Google Translate, but I'm gonna try and keep it as similar as possible in terms of the pricing when you take into account the exchange rate um, fluctuations. This is so, so good. When we formulated this, I kind of thought, ah, a cleanser is a cleanser. Will I like it? Oh, it's bouncy. It feels luxur it's luxurious on the skin. It doesn't strip and dry. It's using natural saponins, which means that you're not going to get that SLS stripping, heavy foaming, leaving you feel a bit raw and tight afterwards. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I don't think this is the right product for people with super dry skin. There'll be a balm cleanser, which is coming out later on in the year in time for Christmas. So don't worry, I've got you covered for the Christmas period. But that will be much more suitable for people with um, drier skin types. I just, that's taken a little bit more time to work in. This is so, so lovely. Like, honestly, I fell in love with it. It's gonna come in a fragrance and a fragrance-free option. So the fragrance option is just, oh, it's kind of earthy. It smells like, it's got like undertones of rose, but it's not like heavy rose scent. So it's not like a knockoff of my rose by any other name body wash, which you guys know I love. It's not that. It's got a very different, it's got a lighter, yet still quite exotic scent to it, which I'll describe more um, when I go into that in more detail. But of course, on fragrance version for everybody that wants it. For me, the key here is consumer choice. So you'll have the option of the plastic bottle element, if that's what your preference is with the pump, if you like the pump style. You'll also have the option for the glass, which will come with a screw top. But for anyone that goes with the glass, it will also be coming with one of these, which is a spatula. For those of you that don't want to like dig your mucky old hands in pots and things, I hate that. You'll have a spatula, so you can keep it clean, you can keep it hygienic, and this won't be extra. We're not going to be charging extra for any of these things. You can choose. It's all about the consumer. You choose what you want, and it will come with a spatula if you go for the glass option. People want to cut down on the plastic, so I definitely think it's good to have those options for people. Now, that's as exciting as you should be about cleanser. I think you'll love it. I It does the job. It'll work perfectly as a second step in a double cleanse, or as long as you're not wearing super, super high, you know, waterproof makeup, it will work beautifully as a standalone cleanser as well. Bring a bit of luxury without stripping the skin, which I absolutely love. But we're now coming on to my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite product of all, which is the serum. Now, this is the bottle it actually comes in. I'm going to peel, I peeled off the label because um, it's actually going to be embossed printed with the logos and everything on it. So you'll just have to use your imagination here, people. But this is how it's going to come. So it's got, contains vitamin C, a derivative, which is why it's in um, the UV proof um, packaging. And whilst I wanted it to be entirely plastic free, my dream was to go plastic free with a lot of things. Um, most people want a pump option. Um, and I do like it. It's more hygienic. It's easier to go. So this is kind of like a hybrid of giving people the glass bottle, as you can see, good. I think it gives a luxury feel to the product without it being, you know, too much cost prohibitive and too expensive, but it has got the um, plastic pump attachment, which does mean that you can um, get the pump out. It's just more hygienic and cleaner. Also, we will be doing refills of these, which come without the pump. So if you're using the pump, you can take it off and you can reuse it. So if you're worried about your plastic consumption, buy the refillable one, which will be cheaper, and you can just reuse the plastic attachment here. So again, it's a way of being more environmentally friendly if you want to be. This is oh, gorgeous. The reason we decided to launch with this rather than some of the other product options we had is because I like to think this contains all of the added extras your skincare routine needs. I'll explain that a bit more. So in here, you've got peptides. I keep going on on this channel about how amazing peptides are, and I honestly think they're one of the core elements of your skincare routine. They're gonna help to anti-age, but they're also gonna help hydrate, even out um, some of the fine lines and wrinkles and texture on the skin. They're just a fantastic, fantastic addition. 
It's also got a 5% concentration of azelaic acid in here. So azelaic acid is um, great for calming and soothing the skin. A lot of people go for a high strength azelaic acid and you could also, you could almost add a little extra azelaic acid in your routine if you wanted to up the strength. But 5% is the one that A, complies with most regulations around the world, which means it can ship internationally, but also gives those great calming, soothness and redness reducing benefits without causing any sensitivity or irritation. So it's kind of the one that's most applicable, the strength that's most applicable to most people. You've also got some great hydrators in here, which are going to add an element of hydration and boost to the skin. But again, hyaluronic acid free because we don't want to pack it full of the old hyaluronic acid. I mentioned before you've got the vitamin C derivative. You guys know I love, love, love a good vitamin C derivative. You get the same results over time in terms of that brightness, that bringing back that luminosity to the skin. It can help um, to even out the skin tone as well. It's just a really nice addition. However, you often see with other products, it's pure form l acid, which can be difficult to incorporate in your routine. By using a derivative in a 10% concentration, that means that you get the really good benefits from it, but it pairs well with peptides, which are already in here. And it's just a really nice um, ingredient to incorporate. You've also got an antioxidant, which is Q10 in here, which again, I just think is win-win. So in here, you basically got all the added extras I think people miss out on in their core skincare routine in one bottle, ready to go. You can add whatever you want to this. If you want to add an extra azelaic acid in to boost the concentration, that's your choice. If you're in your routine, you want to put your neod repigment, which I'm loving to help tackle that hyperpigmentation, go for it, be my guest. You can throw in an extra bougie antioxidant as well. There are so many options out there that you can go for. This though, I just think incorporates the core elements I think people miss out on in their standard skincare routine. So it's a sort of thing you could slot into your skincare routine as it is and add so, so much benefit. I'm a huge fan. With this, like I say, you can apply it straight. It's very, it's sort of like a gel-like consistency. If I spray that onto my hand, can you, in terms of the consistency, it goes on like a gel, doesn't stick, there's no greasiness, there's no stickiness, alcohol free like all of the products, so it won't dry the skin in any way, it'll just add boost after boost of hydration. Because it is slightly between that liquid toner and that full gel like serum, I'm going to give everyone the option, free of charge, you can put this in the basket when you're shipping, free of charge, reusable cotton rounds. These are the ones I've actually, um, tried, I've tried so many, I've tried so so many out there, and these are the ones that are super soft, they're super bouncy, and they wash so so well, so don't worry, I've tried and tested them. And I'll be giving five of these free away with anyone who wants them. A lot of people are happy to just throw this on with their hands, which is my preference. But if you're going to use a cotton round, I want to give you the option of having a reusable one so you can cut down on the amount of disposable cotton rounds in the world and in landfill. So that'll be an option people have when they're picking up this product. I don't have the moisturizer to share with you. It actually came back from the lab today. I didn't have time to peel off all the labels and repack it. I didn't have time for all of that. But our moisturizer is going to be super super hydrating. It's also going to be calming. It's going to be packed full of panthenol, which you guys know I love. B vitamin that calms and soothes the skin. It's going to have allantonin in, which again works in a similar way to calm and soothe. It's going to have amino acids in, which are some of the best natural hydrators that our skin can have. And it's going to help boost our hydration levels, but also support with the barrier function of the skin. It's going to have some ceramides in there, and it's going to be an all-round beautiful moisturizer. At the moment, we're launching just with the unfragranced version, but I am going to come out with a fragranced one down the line for those of you that like a little fragrance in their life. And this is going to come in a glass tub, but again, with that spatula, so you don't have to be digging around in it. You've got that clean option if you want to use the spatula instead. Again, spatula provided free of charge or part of that consumer choice if you want to add one to your basket. This I love. I tried it and I thought, yeah, I think sometimes we expect moisturizers to promise. They promise the earth and they always under deliver. This promises to boost the skin's um, barrier. It promises to hydrate to other gods, lock everything in and just be a really nice end to your skincare routine. It's not going to promise to transform your skin, eradicate fine lines and wrinkles and all of that jazz. It's just going to be a really nice addition. The serum I didn't mention the price of. I will actually, we'll, we'll scoot back to that very quickly. So you actually see you get a lot of product in here. I kind of, I hate, I think it's so wasteful when you get tiny amounts of product and you're buying time and time again, which is shipping, packaging and all of that. It's just not great for the world. So you're getting quite a lot of product here. And again, this is coming in at 15 pounds, which will be around, it'll be under the $20 price point. For that amount of product, again, I think that is a fair price considering how many steps this incorporates in your skincare routine. Um, I think that's a fair price. So again, uh, your thoughts and feedback will be so, so welcome. So leave them below. In terms of the moisture, 
moisturiser. Moisturisers are always overpriced. I hate it. This is coming in at a standard £9. That's around the $12 to $13 price point. You're going to get a la large amount of it because I think people should be able to use as much as they want without worrying about the price. So I think, again, a fair price point. And I'm going to offer all three in a set. For those of you that want to have the full experience, they can get all three in a set, which will be giving a 20% reduction. So there's a great price point for everyone. So there you have it, the three products that we're going to be launching on the 1st of August. I would love to come out with a whole suite of products, but I always say I prefer brands that do a few things really well than try to do everything kind of meh. So hopefully this is a well-curated set of, you could use it as a standalone skincare routine, but I'd encourage people to just incorporate these into your existing routine if you want to. Use some of your other brands. This isn't all about just buying from one brand. I'm never going to be about that. I'm still going to be using all of the other brands I know and love and just incorporating these into my routine where they fit. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts and feedback like I said before so leave me a comment below and for those of you that just came here for the products you can dip out now but for those of you that want to stay I want to just share with you a little bit of the process itself. There are two ways you can create products. I think this adds a little bit of context around why I've chosen to launch with three products rather than like 20. So a lot of people use white label um, manufacturing. White label is a word that people use when basically companies have their stock formulations that you can then buy in bulk and you stick your own label on and you sell it out. And um, I'm not judging anyone for doing this. This is a real common practice in beauty. Some of the biggest companies do it. Um, it makes it, the sh lead times are so much shorter. I could have done this in like three months if I'd have just gone down that route. You'd already have the products in your hand. However, you can't really customize them. You get what you're given from that manufacturer. You can shop around for the best formulation but ultimately you kind of get what you're given and there's no element of being able to change it because particularly with the serum I wanted something that's so so specific there was nothing out there that would deliver that and so it wasn't possible and I had to work with a bespoke manufacturer so this is the second option where you can literally do private label where you go to a you go to a cosmetic formulator and a labor laboratory and say I want this they tell you you know they might tell you as I was told a few times that ain't gonna happen and you have to you know moderate your stance and stuff but they will be honest and they'll work with you on coming out with your favorite 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 formulation. The main reason I didn't go with the white label, which is a perfectly legitimate option, is I think it's kind of been done. And um, I wanted, this was my, fulfill my life's dream. And so I wanted it to be what I wanted. I didn't want someone else's dream that I stuck my label on to make a bit of money. This has never been about profit for me. This is just a dream. If I happen to make a few coin on the side, even better. But it's all about the dream for me and fulfilling that. And the only way to do that was through private labeling. I would love, and I hope to be able to do this in the next couple of months, to do you like a factory tour, seeing how it's done, because people love, I love that sort of video on YouTube. However, it's not possible now because of the restrictions going on. Technically, I could have done it because um, it's classed as work and there are exemptions here in the UK, travel for work is permitted. But I just thought when so many people are giving up so, so much in their lives from not seeing loved ones, to all of that, it just didn't feel right, me going and doing that when it's not necessary. You guys, I knew you guys would understand. And so hopefully I want to be able to do that later on and give that little bit of factory tour the manufacturing process and all of that but this is very much a private label point so you design your own i said in that previous video the um imaging of this was designed by a really kind subscriber um and i love that because it kind of means it's been built from the ground up which i i, I just love and i think it's so it's special and it just adds an extra level of special to me and um, when i think about these brands and how i interact with it um, I'm super proud of the products we came out with. In an ideal world, I'd love to have launched with more. We could have pushed it and gone for a bit extra, but cost, I'll be totally honest with you guys, cost was a limiting factor. So to formulate each one of these products costs £2,500. So that kind of, I think, sets it in perspective. When a lot of people say, why don't more people do this? I think you've got to be in the position of having the money to finance it and I, not everybody is in that position I would hate for anyone to feel that you know they couldn't do it cost is a prohibiting factor cost around £2,500 per product which includes the formulation the samples and all of that that's before you've even created one product <laughs> that's before you've even created anything to sell you've then got to buy usually in units of about 10,000 if you work really well with a lab that kind of trusts you and wants to build a long-term relationship they'll let you do it in quantities of two three five thousand but again you've got to pay for those up front I haven't made a single penny off of any of this and I've already spent in the region I'll be totally honest with you guys in the region of about £14,000 on development and formulation samples and all of that that's that's a big outlay for people to come up with and it's a speculative outlay because nobody maybe nobody buys it and I'll be stuck with a load of nice serums but nobody to buy them and this is why you kind of have to think up front so it's been a bit of an eye-opener I, I could have launched with 10 products I'd have loved to have done that but again it would be about £30,000 so you've got to kind of offset the cost again 
against the products and in the end I thought it'd be great to bring out a few launches in time for like Christmas and into next year and it can be like an evolving collection of products that again develops based on your guys feedback so leave a comment below and let you know what you think do you want a full video of like the end-to-end -end process of how it works and sharing some I've shared with you some of the facts and figures and um, which is there just I, I, I guess to add a bit of perspective it might be different for some people but that was my perspective and just to be brutally honest with you guys it's not to you know show off to say this is how much it's cost because actually you know I think this is standard in the industry I just wanted to share that with you kind of like a behind the scenes so you understand a little bit more that goes in behind it I'd love if you want a full end-to-end -end process let me know and I'll happily share it with you but whatever your thoughts or feelings are leave them in the comment below thank you so so much for supporting me everyone that's supporting me on this journey you know being able to have this channel has been like the best experience of my life. I've been able to fulfill my dream and have people excited about it and actually want to know more is just beyond my wildest dreams. So I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like if this goes nowhere, if I don't sell a single unit, in the end, it doesn't matter because I can say I fulfilled my dream. Yes, I fell flat on my face, but you know what? I just didn't want to live in a world where I was thinking, oh, what would have happened if I'd have done that? One way or the other, on the 1st of August, I'll know and we'll see. Hopefully you will enjoy the products and you know, we'll see. But wherever you are in the world, guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye.